We all want to hit the ball as far as we can, me included. But what might be ailing you is not necessarily your speed, but where you hit it on the face. So whether it's off the top, off the bottom, off the heel, off the toe, I'm going to provide a couple of drills today based on what you do that's going to correct any issue you might have, no matter where it is on the face, to get you more center strike and more distance. Let's check it out. Now let's work on those of you who hit the ball high in the face. And by high in the face, I mean if you've done it for any length of time, you've learned to push that tee in the ground and get that ball lower on the face. But the reality is you still have a negative angle of attack or more importantly, the low point of your swing arc in front of the ball. And with the driver, we want the low point of the swing arc behind the ball, swinging up on it. So to get us to do that, we're gonna take a tee in front of the ball about a handle away, a grip. The goal is gonna be you stay back long enough to where you, with the ball and the club head, miss this forward tee. Now remember, if you swing full speed, the same result's gonna show up. You gotta swing slow enough so your brain has an opportunity to tell your joints what to do. Something like this. Nice and easy. Okay, almost a drop kick. High in the face though. So now we're gonna work on hitting off the heel or off the toe. All right, now here's how you take care of the heel and toe strikes. We'll start with the toe strike, but they're very much the same, just opposites, okay? So toe strike, or rather heel strike, if you're getting too many shots on the heel, you're gonna put your driver down, put that ball dead center, and put a tee, boy, just so close. You've been hitting too much on the heel, having that tee out there, and remember, we're gonna to try to miss the tee to hit the ball, so this drill is all about missing. We're gonna set up, and the goal is gonna to be to make sure we miss the tee, that's gonna promote that head coming closer to us, more rotation, and that center strike on the face. Yeah, looks good. Okay, so now let's move our toe strikes closer to the center of the face by doing much the same. We'll tee up a ball, we'll put the driver down, and then we're gonna make the tee, place the tee just behind the heel, mamma mia, that's close. And the whole goal now is because we're doing toe strikes, if we moved in too close, we definitely hit that tee. So again, we're gonna miss the tee to hit the heel or get center. Okay, I like that as well. Now, if you're someone who hits slow on the face, even though the ball is teed up correctly, that probably means your angle of attack is good. Maybe it's coming out of it a pinch. So the way we're gonna fix that is we're gonna take a basket alignment rod. We're gonna go three rows up, pierce it to where it's nice and snug from the basket. And we're gonna take the alignment rod and put it over the ball. The goal is, since you're hitting low on the face, we're gonna try to bring that club face down a pinch by putting that alignment rod there. That's a little uncomfortable for me. That's what we'll do. Now, again, it's to think about missing it, missing the rod to hit the ball. And also just know if that alignment rod's sticking too far out, you're going to engage the shaft and you're not gonna be a friend of mine anymore. So make sure that alignment rod's just over the ball and just low enough to make it uncomfortable. Let's take a look. Uh, it's a little high. You'll get used to it though. Whether it's toe, heel, top or bottom, there is a drill to remedy that. And what you have to do is take your time, do the reps, make sure you swing slow. Because most importantly, if you swing same speed, nothing is gained. The same results show up. So as long as you swing slow enough to where your brain has the opportunity to tell your joints to do something different, something different will show up. Otherwise, no. With that, enjoy a bigger smash factor and more distance. As always, thanks for watching the video. If you found any value in it, even a little, like, subscribe, hit that bell. More importantly, in the comments section, let me know if there's any other videos you'd like to see, and I'll see what I can do for you.